Howdy folks, Justin here. While I was at the Bethesda Gameplay Day uh, at PAX East, uh, a couple of cool dudes talked to me about how they wanted to see Redoran Altar. So I was trying to figure out what to do with Redoran, House Redoran and Altar, build a control deck in these colors. And I thought to myself, well, I could build something that resembled the Support Crusader I build, which was just a complete mess of nonsense, uh, which but a lot of fun to play, and incorporate... Uh, some purple cards. So in the mix we have Barrow Stalker, Dark Guardian, Spell Sword, Summoning, Eternal Tellius, Gortwog, and Edict of Azura. Uh, we are a little light on removal, no cast in the times, no... I mean, look, you could take this any number of ways. I wanted to cap off with Unstoppable Rage, so that is why I built this deck. We're going to see if we can't do some dumb things with... Um, well, basically with Volundrung, Cauldron Keeper, and Unstoppable Rage. So, wish me luck. Hannibal playing Assassin. Okay. Assassin might be a deck we can grind down enough to uh, make work for us. I have the ring. We have Prison Ship, Cradle Crush, Giant, Unstoppable Rage. Prison Ship actually seems like it's going to be relatively difficult for Assassin to remove. Then we got two more three cost defensive creatures, which I'll probably play before Prison Ship, to be honest. Um, no Goblin Skulk in the first three. And another prison ship, so we are prison ship dot deck. Well, what's up, dude? May you walk on warm All right, no play. Awesome. Awesome possum. Dishnukial Archer. If nothing else, we can get Cool Lock Keeper down and start that grind. If you're looking for trouble, I, I really like Cool Lock Keeper. Uh, I, I like this card in a variety of decks, and um, it doesn't get cursed here. Queen, Queen Baron Zaya. So what do we do about Queen Baron Zaya? Um, let's swing. Dishnakial Archer. We could just prison ship it. Like I said, this feels like a hard card for an assassin deck to remove. Let's buy ourselves some time. Hopefully, get some rallies going. There's a harpy, sure. Shack on that. And a cool fire bloom. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I think, even though it doesn't make the best use of my magicka, I kind of want to just throw a dark guardian in front of this since I think you know high defender is a little bit more useful. Goblin Skulk. There's our belligerent giant. We can prison ship it and cool Lockkeeper. And uh, this is so, even if he destroys my prison ship, I can uh, block it with the cool Lockkeeper. Alright, my opponent's got nothing. Altar of Despair. Alright, let's... Turn, let's do this. I want to get Altar going as soon as possible. Do I care about sacrificing my prison ship for a sharpshooter scout? I think I'm willing to make that trade because I'm just here to do stupid stuff. Alright. We're living the dream. So what are we playing against? Some sort of Therana combo deck? No, because you wouldn't put Cruel Fire... You, I, I would never run any zero-cost cards in my deck that I was trying to use Goblin Skulk with Therana. Elusive Schemer. Okay. Finish off, maybe? Lightning Bolt. Okay. So Fire. Do we just want to start chaining up the altar? I know a shortcut. I'll clear up. And then by all the powers of I the cures for all ills. 
Let's grab a three drop. Oh no, it's a prison ship with no prisoners. Arr. I forgot about prison ship. I don't have my deck list in front of me like I usually Let's do when I play alter decks. Alright, Eclipse Baroness. Precious. Sure. Let's keep on trucking down the altar. Ooh, gold brand. Awesome. Let's get a couple of gold brand uses going. Let's get another critter out. We got a Hive Defenderino. I'm not satisfied with Hive Defender. I want a 5 drop. Uh, do I want to keep going and get a 6 drop? I don't even know what the 6 drops in this deck are. I'm going to say no. I probably should have the deck list out while I'm doing this. I think, actually, now that I think about it, the 6 drops were all legendary creatures. They're, the six drops are Gortwog and something else. Spider Daedra. Alright. Spider Daedra it is. Wow, that, that's the most irritating sound I've ever heard a Legends card make, repeatedly. Alright, man. You got it. Um... Vigilant Giant's good. Can't really sacrifice any of these creatures responsibly to the altar, though. They'll be needing <laughs> Maybe I draw something cheap off this. Cool, Law Keeper is cool. <laughs> oh, dude. Dex with no support removal are my dream. It's a little late, man. Doesn't doesn't even matter anymore. Wardcrafter, it is. Um, Barrow Stalker is the perfect victim. Grotwog or Tullius? Oh, it's Cradle Crush Giant. I forgot I put that one in there too. Hmm. If you're looking for trouble, you'll find it. I'm not swinging. I just want to get up to my combo, which is. Nine into ten. I think is, I think I put aspect of her scene Dramor Marcanes. So in order for the game to not end, he needs to have Leaf Lurker here, right? <laughs> the crucible in which all decks should be tested is like, can you defeat Justin's stupid decks? If I fall, Fighter skill to recruit. Um, you took a wrong turn, seven drops are all belligerent giants because this is also an unstoppable rage deck. So maybe I should we ping this, turn it into a belligerent oh. giant. So eight, I'll get another vigilant um, giant. Just really need this dude not to concede. Word wall. Okay. All right. Careful there, friend. Wardcraft or the word wall. Sick. By the eight, they will. Daggerfall mage. Okay. Opponent is sticking it out. Let's do this. Oh, we drew unstoppable rage. Can we just kill him? So this gets an eight drop, which is another vigilant giant. You took a wrong turn, stranger. There's Rift Thane. So if I gold brand that, swing at that, unstoppable rage, is he dead? To be honest, I'm not gonna do the math. I'm just gonna make the play. That was pretty good. Exact lethal. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back for another one. Alright, so I think we're one win away from rank four. We are playing House Redoran Altar of Despair Unstoppable Rage. 
Uh, and we're having fun doing it. We're doing okay. I don't have the deck list in front of me. And it's, it's more fun this way, to be honest with you. I actually think that you could build a reasonable control deck in these colors. This one's kind of trying to be cute, but uh, it's been fun so far. Uh, we're playing against Chili43. I'm going to go ahead and keep all this. Uh, they're going to have Edicts of Azura at least to remove my altars. And being the beatdown deck against... This deck is going to be hard. We need to... I don't know, because like we, I don't think we can go... I don't think we can remove all their threats, because I didn't put a lot of removal spells in the deck. I was really just trying to build a uh, funny altar chain. Let's see what we can make happen here. Okay. I should probably play Spell Sword Summoning. Ungolum and Moon Sugar Smuggler. I'll take it. I'll totally take it. Maybe they think we're some kind of Redoran Tokens deck. No plays. So do we just play Dark Guardian and draw a card if they hit a Prophecy? Well, they've let us do four damage. Uh, I suspect we're about to see a Hive Defender. If for some reason he puts it in the right lane, I can play Belligerent Giant. Let's execute. Sorcerer's Negation. Okay. Another Rift Thane. So let's. This one has already said too much. You're looking for trouble. Just dump our hand. <clears throat> you know, maybe it's possible. Maybe it's possible we're just the world's lamest beatdown deck and we can win that way. <laughs> we'll find out soon. Okay, so I slam this into this. I go to seven Magicka. This one has already said too much. You took a wrong turn. Oh, Alternatively, I run this into it and that into it, but I think getting Belligerent Giant on the board is better. This one has already said too much. So, there we go. House Redoran support control rage deck with the Altar of Despair in it. Pretty nice board for turn five. <laughs> Can't Dawn's Wrath. S Edict. Do you have a lightning bolt too? Or a, oh, I'm sorry, a firebolt? Alright, well we can hit him for four, maybe five if the rally hits the right target. We can just dump everything and then die to an ice storm. Uh, but I think we should do that. I know a shortcut. All right, well, we are all in, all in with our pile of garbage. Let's see if we can close it out. I mean, like one guard creature screws us here. <laughs> we're in a top deck, something useless like execute, because we're actually a control deck, kind of. But we'll see what happens. See if we can get to rank 4 in style, or over the next 15 minutes lose very, 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 very slowly. It could go either way. Chile is probably rethinking their recent purchase of Houses of Morrowind packs, and I don't blame you. Or we're about to get totally blown out by something. I mean, like, Ice Storm leaves us with 5 power on board, and... A lethal draw in uh, Sharpshooter Scout. <laughs> or Redoran Forerunner. All very solid creatures. By the way, I love the little rallied icon on this. Um, Hive Defender in either lane is bad for us. Obviously worse in the left lane. And in which case, drawing Edict of Azura would be, you know, great. Worst thing that could happen to us, I think, is... Ice Storm plus Firebolt to kill. 
And even that just kills this. Okay. Well, we're off lethal now. Casting the time. Oh, wow. Wow. So we are also a pretty good, crappy beatdown deck. Let's uh, march into rank four together, ladies and gentlemen, with Redoran Alter. <laughs> we'll be right back.